These are the best highlights from the matchup between IG and AL during the 2024 LPL Summer Split. Um, kind of cash in items later. And now we see Griffith getting angled towards top side. Ooh, Ixtal's impact gets all outed, so it does stop it. Zuyan going for the angle here, but it's GLFS that can't connect the damage. He still gets it, though. The Pyroclasm will help get first Spawning up, only a 20-second difference or so between them. GLFS and IG already down here. AL moving here as well. Kyle wants to go for the engage. There's the Mega Inferno Bomb as well. And GLFS is already down. Pyroclasm not going to be enough to take anybody out from the grave. The, and that means um, the, the Sejuani comes online. They want to start getting these big engages. Shanks, off. Shanks, Shanks, Shanks bro. Out. There's a lot of people there, and he didn't know where they were. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. Does have his teammates right behind him and gives us a scare of our lives as the curtain call is called. Nature's grasp on top of it. Kyle, one more shot. <gasps> it gets blocked. Hope! Huge blocks from Hope. The deadly flourish, not enough. Oh, no, the sapling. Kyle, he's in there. He just ties the odd in the end. But guess who got the dragon? It was Kraka. Oh, after everything, he's going to get the fat flash over the wall. And he dodges out of the deadly flourish yet again. Get yourself one him on their team. All the way from his time on JDG, he has been an incredible carry. And uh, even on the times on WE here before, as all uh, in a lot of trouble here. JLFS has returned to the money bucket that is shaped as a scorpion. Oh, left out on the top side to dry once again, but it's going to be uh, dragging over the side of anyone's legend for the cross map, I suppose. Uh, JLFS dying just before that. They're not going to help too many things. Kyle catches him out. Ooh, no flash. Yeah, that's a big CC combo. They are going to pop the Pyroclasm there. A lot of damage right back, but JLFS will fall. Not enough burn damage, though. Zion in a lot of trouble here. If he doesn't get out, Kyle's trying to follow up. Hope is right behind them, and another body's going to fall. Anyone's legend. We said they take advantage of your mistakes, and they absolutely capitalize. We said that IG, they are a team which very much likes to uh, likes to spread that they can get control of a lane and start using that nature's grasp, as we were just saying, to set up this team. I think it is really critical that Vampire like this roams to the play effectively. Just keep going to the top lane. You'll find him eventually. Can the Skarner bury himself through the dirt? And he does. Alcove Gaming. Oh, no, 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 no. Odds falling prey to all the gins. Worst nightmares, and it's any CC anywhere. He's down on, might get a revenge kill from Zuyan, but he will end up falling as well. So two in the middle for anyone's legend, plus the turret. And because you have that Ziggs Towers full so two quickly. quickly. That Shanks has his Cold Cush stick cashed in. Hope is at a point of power too. IG might start falling apart very, very quickly beyond this point. And that's why they want to teleport right now. Keep scrapping. Can't stop, won't stop. Zuyan on the other side of the fight. Vampire getting low, but it was all a bait there. There's the fate sealed onto the back, though. Kroko able to find his way out. Zuyan finally gets over here. It's been towards Hope the entire time. Oh, no. Odds curtain call called for nothing. Now Ala is here after the TP comes in, and he is the body you need and love. Ixtal's impact into the wall, but he's got the impale in now. Hope gets the damage down. Nani has the back line, though. He gets one there, too. And the damage from the burn is starting to be enough. Ala, you might have just ended Hope there. You had the savior play from Hope, and now he's looking Hope. for on. He will not fall. He does. And there's the one incredible play that IG needed. Uh, take. If they do get themselves that Herald, um, it will be now at cost of that Dragon. They're going to roam towards that top side of the map. We did say that Herald is very, very important to them, and they can use it very powerfully. But at least GLFS for sitting in a pocket to do damage too. Look how Nani uses the second cast of the E as well, just making sure he's threatening another angle. IG, regardless of whether that's oh. that, just keep fighting. Zvian all outs his way to a death. As Kroko picks up one for anyone's legend, Vampire setting him up with the Nature's Rasp and the carousel of fighting keeps turning Kroko in trouble. He gets flashed in front of my Vampire and the Arctic Assault is blocked. Uh, that's going to be IG at least taking one. And he's also just been a ruthless son of a gun every uh, single time. Shanks? Uh, so, yeah, hey, I was talking take, about Kroko. Don't worry about what Shanks is doing. Officer, take his driving <laughs> license. <laughs> Zuyan uh, might need to get a license of his own taken away from a Mega Inferno bomb used to clear the wave. The Rift Herald is there to try to take this turret down. Nani tries to go for the play, misses everything, and goes right back to his clone, sad and defeated.
Well, I mean, he might have scored a goal in football, but um, not in League Legends. Goes right between the posts and finds no one. I think Nanyo on the owner has been one of the few bright sparks in this game. He's not died. He's 2 0 2. Until Dragon Spawns would be a sole point for IG on an Infernal Soul. I think AL might be sticking around a little long here because IG have reset. They'll get that blue buff as well. And no mana on anyone's legend means open up on is here. Allah. Oh, oh, okay. He gets the fourth shot over there on the other side to try to slow down Kyle. GLFS ends up getting the kill right there, oh, no. and there it is. Nani going to pull the trigger, but AL see it plain as day. They're going to get their own TP, and that's Ala, the big scorpion, coming to make a difference. But guess who is the difference maker? Kyle gets the magnet storm. Big fate sealed, though. It might actually be Nani that's popping off here. Zweon is dead, though, on the other side. Double impale from Ala. And what did we say about this champion? No matter what, it is worth something, and it might just be worth the whole shebang as anyone's legend decimate IG. They're moving straight to the Baron. The move is too big. The difference in strength is just too big. Baron goes down, will be on five members, and this should be, as we were saying, the start the of the day. Team within their group, Kyle finds the combo now. You see that what happens when everyone throws their ultimates. Someone explodes, and with the brand new. And we've got ourselves potentially a big dun, combo dun, coming through. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Croco didn't realize they're all there. <laughs> Mega Inferno Bob takes half of their health underneath there. And now Vampire is almost dead, but he makes it out by the skin of his teeth. Now Croco in some trouble here. He's going to bring the explosion over to Hope as he falls. But now Ala is here. Full health and all legs available for him to run at IG. And then use it for extra damage. <laughs> no, because he's going to back was... TP top and take it to your top. Right. So, <laughs> my Oscar God. Again. Oh, no. It's a catastrophe here. And it's all AL. It looks like they just wanted to buy a couple more items to uh, put on their shelf here before they need to finish off this game number one. They're on the last Nexus, or at least the uh, inhib turret. Now, now, the Nexus turret's in mid lane. Might be the case instead, actually. Okay, it looks like they're going to just go for this mid lane tower instead of the Nexus turrets. And the inhibs are the focus. But AL just want to put finishing touches on this one. It's been a pretty soft and easy snowball for them as they started strong early and developed leads all over the place. And now they just need to finish everything off. Oh, and Bale goes a little bit wide. Nani trying to go for a big play on the side, but he'll have to go back to his shadow. Now Kyle gets a big engage on the vampire there, and he's already dead. Mega Inferno Pop can be flashed out of. Curtain call might make this hard for them to move forward. The Pyroclasm had already been used. Look at the damage it's doing. Ooh. It has shot through the middle. Look how much damage the GLFS is doing right now. Those damage numbers go nutty. And anyone's legend, they've slipped. They've dropped the ball. And IG are picking it up all day. There are pings onto a board down towards Dragon as well. The Dragon is sporting in 20 seconds. I guess but not necessarily the game he would have wanted. And because of that kind of failed engage from the combo, you can see the long range follow up comes through. And we're onto the Dragon Ooh. taken by IG. It is a Dragon taken by IG. So third Dragon of the game for them. Sole point there. But AL, they're closing off the exit points for IG. As they do, they actually catch down Shanks. Hell, <laughs> really wanted to uh, capitalize on that, but they won't find it. No, they won't. So, IG, they have, unless they get a combo onto the back line. And that's where uh, I think that's the, the ticket in, but that's also for AL, what we've talked about literally since minute one. They oh, the just CC. have the go buttons when they're ahead, and Nani can't really do anything in the end there. Does get a little bit of damage onto Kyle. And a lot of poke coming right back his way. Impale! And he's impaled on the spike in front of his teammates. Hope claims another one, and the last in him turret's gonna fall, and that might just signal the end here, Nymera. Oh, and IG try as they might, they try and scrap, but all they do is scrap their way to the green screen again. Oh, three man fade sealed there. Are we seeing this again? No, Kyle wants to shut the door on the faces of IG. They take the last Nexus turret. They won't make the same mistake again. They'll hit a couple times onto the Nexus, but it's the kills that they want. Pad those stats as anyone's legend. We know they can bleed, but they won't bleed so far tonight. Yeah, AP can block tank. Things. <laughs> I, no, I'm just making stuff up now. No, it is really nice to see yeah. Braum, who's kind of risen up in priority, but something very much needed for anyone's legend. Now you have follow-up there. A little bit of damage back and forth from Hope and on. That's a really good trade back from Hope and Carl, considering the fact that they had a level one support and had lost late, uh, that wave control. 
So good on them for getting something back. They're still in danger. That's oh, no. no, not yeah, vampire. Kyle but has not it's level hit one. level two. That's unfortunate. And that'll be first blood for IG. Hope wants to make the play though onto On. He's gonna go for it. One more auto. He gets it. Can he get vampire two? The flash away, and he's alive. Oh my goodness. Hope stays stunting on him. Oh, Hope's Ash is something else. Level three from Vampire. Uh, Hope, buddy, you bet. Yeah, you better close that shop. Be careful, buddy. I think the really important thing that Ale have been looking towards has been the couple of the early ganks mid. The, the Zvian, is he feeling this? He's got the Q cooldown. You oh, he's him out feeling of it. He's got Impale up too. He's level six here. He's going to try to buy some time though. There's the Impale, but it's immediately unstoppable out of blocked. And Zvian goes down. Step to Allah and you're going to get the Intofus. That is a horrible miscalculation by Zuya. Yeah, those are the big kind of adversaries that we've got going on. You get to decide who's the hero of the story, but those big engaged tools, we get to see which one of them works out first. You get locked down like that, you're gonna get a lot of damage back. Ooh, all out, gonna be used all the way to the alcove. Zuyan, though, trying to get out, does not have the Ixtal's impact just yet. Gonna hit the Shattered Earth, though, but dodges out of the Q3. Ala getting fought back, but still trying to slice and dice him up. And one by one, the leg's not going to be cut Stop off, one. but it's the card that gets it, the 1v1. Luckily, Shanks makes good on it. Meanwhile, the fight's kicking off in the pit here for the Telegram. He's, I didn't know we wanted to watch cartoons so damn bad. Croco, he gets blasted by on over the turret during the satchel charge. And it's IG that come away with four so far. And that's big because they get the mites. All right. When these objectives come up, you're already in a point where Arn and Vampire could solo someone out. Watch for their combo in the fight. Yeah, what I really want to see, though, on the other side is Hope going for engages. He finds an Enchant Crystalera there with a spear on the back end of it, but it's going to be onto the tankier member of Vampire. Alla has found a flank, gets hooked onto immediately. Going to all out here, but a big Mega Inferno Bomb separates the fight. Impale on a two, and there's that Sky's Descent to change the game here for IG. LFS moving forward, the hook doesn't connect, and Zuyan goes down to Ala in the side there. If that hook connects, it's a different fight, but here we have it. It's just actually AL coming out on top. Now, they do have really low HP bars, and they don't completely end things off. Gold card, though, could lead to a kill. Doesn't have it up, so oh, that's going to be a turn around for up, man. He's just in the face of two members. And a lot of vision that Hope's going to be providing now. IG looking for a play. There's a big old scorpion there, Hope. you got to be careful. Going to get stopped and impaled right back to the jaws of IG. And Nani's the one that picks it up. I think with so many teammates nearby, he thought he'd be safe. Um, he's not. Remember, they do have themselves the Herald as well, if Griffith uh, comes down to put that one. And he does. So this will be mid lane out of turret going down very quickly. And IG, they're in a position now where they have the gold lead. They have the playmaking tools to continue fighting. This is their comfort zone where they can keep fighting. And it's actually a good thing. As opposed to, you know, just keeping skirmishing and not knowing when... Uh, the play would be bad. AL, they're in a real danger zone now. They need to... Yeah, with Nani kind of coming up through the ranks with him. Now, I do wonder... Oh, okay. Uh, speak about Nani. I mentioned his name, and now they make a play on him. The destiny has been popped, but there's this guy's descent coming down. Is it going to be enough to separate the fight enough? Oh, they're going to get the damage here onto Kael, though. He's tanking up a storm. Meanwhile, this choke point's not working out so heavily. They get the Mega Inferno Bomb in there, but look at Hope this entire time. He's been carving them up with the arrows. And speaking of carving up, a double kill to Allah. Spear goes wide. On's in trouble. On. First to flash. There's Allah. Allah makes the different play, and he goes straight in. They take four. And IG, they slip up once, just one single time, Nymera, and anyone's legend cut them off at the seams. AL forced the play, and IG are left really once in Croco. Might just be stopping it back, but could have been looking for a. Decisiveness has been the name of the game for anyone's legend, and they are decisive as hell with this composition because they have so many options to be decisive. A yellow card, and Chance of Crystal, I'll throw Kyle in there, get Allah into the back line like we've seen time and time again. And now oh, they're taking no, momentum with them, and they're running it straight into the mouth of IG. Chanta Crystalero on top of it all. That spear not going to connect, but the yellow card does. And what did we just say? The cataclysmic chain of events is just IG not being able to play their champions. What is IG doing walking up in the mid lane like that? Free kills being given over time after time. They're in free. Throwing cards left and right. You didn't think they would do damage. Yeah. And the man is starting to do some work. A huge Team WE prodigy that spent so much time in that system. Finally unleashed with anyone's legend here in 2024. And him and Hope have oh, been a powerful combo. And there it is. The go buttons are just that good for AL. Zuyan 
all you have to do is stand there and impale them and watch them take you down. Uh, so yeah, feels like he has also fallen prey to what IG have done in the last minute or two, which has just been lose their heads on the macro sense. They all walk up, keep fighting. When you have to stop GLFS, fighting, no. that's when things fall apart. No, oh no, it's happening everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna throw a desperate Mega Inferno bomb, but a spear the size of his body takes his life. I think as soon as the big fights ended, IG just didn't know how to recorrect the map. They were all walking up too far. We've had Vampire walk up and start the chain of events after that bot side play went wrong. And IG just haven't been able to group up again and find a big team fight. They've lost so many kills, they're going to lose a Baron. Ale are absolutely slaughtering the last five minutes. And again, this has been a growing product. We saw serious leaps and bounds from Croco and Kyle coming over from Hope and Shanks coming over, all of the joining to gold card for a second play to come through. IG can't retreat. They just bit off more than they could chew by trying to walk up oh, and save no! their mid Vampire is gone. Oh, the front line. That's a triple impale. The hopes, everything, the belief for IG. It's rested on this moment. The heartbreaker and defensive will make him go down. And IG, they might have lost all that belief right there. A triple knockback is in store potentially if they want to go for it, but AL back away. So right now, you're now down the amount of gold, which we expected them to be against AL with an early cop like this. And Nane, he's Nane caught out again. executed. What did I tell you? Do never turn your back against a literal cougar. They can't nearly as easily as before. Third item right now feels like uh, it's starting to break into the barrier of unkillable here for anyone's legend. Fourth item feels like they're really just going to be able to go for Ooh. it. And speaking of go for it, Nani gets completely caught out and that arrow hits cold, but maybe the comet hits a little bit hotter. It is going to be one in the bag for anyone's legend so far. GLFS gets trashed onto by Shanks. Now they just have this front to back go their way. Zwian in some trouble here under the fight and under the pressure of anyone's legend. Spears going a little bit wide, but I G have to turn tail and run and anyone's legend they're taking full advantage of it the scaling ends here IG a very strong early game from them after leveraging a powerful level one can't come through to fruition because AL pounce on them time after time the gold cards the assassinations from globals and skill shots and CC IG were not ready for this mid game they were not ready for the decisiveness as of anyone's legend no. Uh, they'll find a nice little cave somewhere. Speaking of Allah. cave, all is about to put you into a cave six feet into the ground. There's the skies descend, but it does not matter. All is still alive, still kicking, and the unstoppable has become king. Anyone's legend, they already guaranteed themselves a spot in group A of the rumble stage, and they're all but going to clean up this group D. They will move forward to six and one in dominant fashion over IG, and they are the kings of group D in the LPL. We get Netty one more time. Oh, the spear on top of it all. <laughs> Insult to injury. And damn, does These were some of the best highlights from the 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup between IG and AL. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.